ですおサダーシュワサマーランバーンシャンカラーチャーリアマディアマンアスマダーチャーリアパリアンタンオンデーゴロパランパランゴロブランハーゴロルヴィシタホーゴロデーゴーマヘシュワラハーゴロルサークシャッパラブランハーダスマイシリーゴラベンナマハオンサハナワワトサハナオブナトサハヴィリアンカラワワハイテジャスヴィナワディタマストマヴィッヴィシャワハイオンシャンティシャンティシャンティヒアリオHari Om, Hari Om. So, welcome to another session of Dhrut Trisha Viveka. So, let us discuss based on Sri Prabhuji's talks. Today, we are taking up、uh, talk 77, 78, 79. These are the talks, but、uh, we will see where our discussions、uh, will take us. Okay.、Hmm. So, first. And foremost, I want to share a beautiful quote by Nisarga Datta Maharaj. And taking that,、uh, I will pose a question to you guys. Let us see how that goes. Give me a minute. I'll pull up that question.、Mm. Okay. Here is、uh, something that,、uh, you know, food for thought, which is related to talk number 77. So、uh, Nisarga Datta says, Liberation is a matter of courage to believe that you are already free and act on it. Yeah. Liberation is a matter of courage to believe that you are already free and to act on it.、Hmm. So, what are the implications of this statement? Is it okay to believe that I am already enlightened? No. You need the courage. Hmm. A very simple reason that、hmm. when we are in the worldly existence, oh, I don't want to lose the, my worldly comforts also because to pursue this path, I'm in a very comfort zone. So I have to understand that I'm in a comfort zone. So there could be some repercussion in my worldly pursuits. So if I cannot be totally this thing, okay, my worldly pursuits should also go on and my this thing also should go on.、Hmm. So, there has to be courage. Yes, this is the path for me, and、uh, I need to tread this path to go to that ultimate. So, the courage is very much needed in this worldly.、Uh, mm. uh, this yes, courage is needed to first of all set on the path. That's what you are saying.、Hmm. The, the statement here is he says, liberation itself is a matter of courage to believe that you're already free. Anta. Okay. See, this comes from, I'll tell you the background、uh, with which I'm asking this question. This is about the need for Guru. If you can believe that you're already free and set on the path, that is what the、uh, Nisargadatta is saying. So, how, how to believe that I'm already free? How will that、uh, courage come from? Where will it come from? From the teachings of the Guru.、Mm. Okay. Anything else? And、uh, this path is difficult in the sense then the hand holding is which the Guru gives you.、Hmm. When you stumble upon it, or when you are in, not in a great, even in the worldly, this thing, then the Guru tells that you are on the right path and this is the path.、Hmm. So the Guru's hand holding and the grace is very important when you pursue this path. Correct. Anybody else want to give any input on this? Correct, Rajini. Whatever you said is perfectly all right. Hail, you nursing. Yeah. Uh, courage, uh, from the courage perspective, yes, it is going to be death of ego. What,、mm-hmm. I, what I felt,、uh, what I lived as myself so far, that itself is going to be. That existence is at stake. That its existence itself is at stake. Mm. That is one thing. The other thing is that 
the way I lived so far, in my case, 56 plus years, 55 plus years, I lived in a way thinking that I am this, I am that. Mm. So here, Maharaj Ji, uh, Maharaj Ji is coming and uh, telling us that you are not that. Mm. So, so all this while what we live, that has to be falsified, that has to be negated. So when that is taken out, where should I stand? Exactly. Well, there is no adhara or substrate for me to stand. Mm. So like the way Archimedes said, give me some space so that I can move the earth. <laughs> so that's standing. Uh, give me a liver, he said. No? Yeah. Give, yes. give me a liver, I can move the earth. Right. Uh, so you need, also need to stand, right? So we need some space there. So uh, uh, that is one thing. The other thing is uh, about, uh, uh, I feel that it's a, a tripod structure, uh, meaning on this tripod structure, which is a stable structure on which Brahman is uh, going to be established. That is one from uh, Vedantic, uh, what do I say? Pramana through Guru's uh, teachings, I mean Shruti mm. and my self-experience which mm. correlates these two. Very good. Drew. This is what Very nice. Good, good, good. Anybody else wants to add? <laughs> hmm? So where is this uh, uh, strength coming from? It is inner strength or outer strength from outside external input or it is internal input? Strength has to come from somewhere. Strength is from Guru Vakya and Matru Vakya. We hold on to those Vakyas to climb up higher and uh, higher. Hmm. So for, uh, for liberalism, uh, to, be, to be liberal, hmm. uh, to know the truth, we require uh, a strength and a base to climb up and hmm. Without the guru, we can't. Correct. So, there was a question. Yes, shall I add Purnima ji? Yes, yes, please, Helipa. Yeah. Ishwaro Guru Ramniti. Mm. This Nija. is a thing, you know, until mm. unless the mm. clarity emerged from him, uh, nothing is possible. Mm. And Correct. I don't even know I am free. I don't even know I am in, uh, in Bandana. Till mm. the Guru explains to me also. Mm. That's also there. I don't even know. I'm unaware. Correct. So, the background of this particular question is, a uh, person in the class, in the talk 77 class, uh, he was asking, mm. why do I need an external Guru? I can read the scriptures, I can listen to talks, I can do everything. That is also input only. Oh, uh, that is 75, 75, 76. Uh, 75, 76. The yes. discussion continues in 77. Yes. So, can the external inputs from all these other uh, Swadhyaya can give you strength? Anta? That was a prashne. There is, there is some role of those to play in your life. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Through uh, that only you kind of come into this path. Isn't it? Yeah. So, Guruji said one very beautiful thing. Can anyone recall what he said about uh, this? This external input. Uh, no, that was question also about how the um, uh, vasanas will drop or something like that. No, How will the vasana drop? With these external inputs, will your vasanas drop? Is it possible? How to drop it? So that uh, for that, uh, Guruji said, you hold on to the higher, the lower will drop. Yes. Yeah. So the higher is the Sadhguru's uh, uh, Margadarshana and your inner strength also. No matter how much Guruji has been telling us from 10 years, do this, do that. I don't know. <laughs> he is hand holding uh, to, the, to a great extent, but still that Swayam uh, uh, by ourselves also we have to do, isn't it? It's our after we come back from the class. Uh. 
Yeah, somebody said something. Anubhava. 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 Swayam, Swayam Anubhava has to hop. And uh, even with uh, those, those words have to resonate in, our, in us all the time. And uh, we have to constantly have that uh, Viveka, Shreyas, Prayas, Viveka and hold on to the higher all the time. And so the lower will drop. So the main, uh, the pill given by Vedanta is Shavana, Manana, Nididhyasana all the time. <laughs> Nididhyasana is to hold on to all the, um, all the wisdom and, uh, you know, do course correction whenever it is needed. Okay. Ma'am, uh, this Bahya Guru, uh, uh, actually, if uh, we can uh, see it at three levels. One is sorry, a grassest level. When it comes to grassest level, I mean, the, the uh, much more grass level, uh, it is that Hmm. Uh, our uh, senses are uh, totally uh, outward. Outward. Hmm. Mind and uh, mind is totally outward. Yeah. So this is where uh, guru's behavior and the way observing guru's uh, lifestyle hmm. and guru's how guru evolved. For example, if we look at uh, Swami Ramakrishna uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa's life story, so. Uh, even though he was a uh, avatar, uh, it is actually helping us, grass people like us. For us, it is helping by way of showing how one evolves from uh, the uh, different stages uh, in the life, from grassest uh, worldly life uh, and suffering, and then come to uh, the ultimate st uh, state, Jivan Mukta. Mm. So, uh, even if we look at, uh, when it comes to uh, middle level, I mean, this is the grassest level. And uh, uh, middle level is uh, at uh, inwardly, uh, just we start uh, moving to uh, moving inwardly. At that level, mm. like Dhridrishya Viveka, whatever we are uh, contemplating on, uh, here also Guru makes a, a place. A, very uh, uh, huge role. Hmm. Otherwise, that come contemplation, we can never go beyond mind. We don't even know there is such a My thing. My own limitations, correct. Yes. Hmm. There is, we don't even know there is such a thing which we can, we can even uh, look at. Correct. So, from there onwards, it is that uh, inner grace. Hmm. Very nice. And this inner grace and Guru's inner grace is one and the same. Well said. Nice, huh? Three levels, he said. So Very the external input from the Guru, apart from the teachings, is how the Guru conducts himself. Yeah, it walks the talk. Ah, how the Guru walks the talk. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Yad yad acharati shreshtaha tatyad devetaro janaha yatha raja tatha praja Whatever the Guru does, or the parents do, the children follow. So these, uh, these, these Christians have, uh, I have seen some of my friends wearing a locket which says WWJD. What would Jesus do? <laughs> if they come uh, encounter a situation, they will think, oh, how would Jesus respond to this situation? So we can also have a locket. WWPD. What would Prabhuji do? <laughs> yeah, it's so it the once you go back to the source, no, everything will become kind of clear. You think from a higher standpoint. So nice. So immediately the Raga Dvesha will drop. See, when I think from the mind, I'm thinking from my vasanas, vasana level. What I like, what I don't like. It is a very instinctive, basic like kind of thinking, mind level. But once I go to the intellect. Then the gurus of that Viveka will come. Dharma Adharma will replace Raga Dvesha. That is so nice. No? When we think from the uh, intellect point of view and we respond rather than react, that is when the guru will be activated. What would Prabhuji do? It's a very nice uh, formula. <laughs> we, can, we can have that. So external input also. Acharati Shreshtaha, we can follow 
the mahatmas of course with discrimination like Ra ramakrishna we cannot dance on the streets saying maha ma kali ma kali whatever whatever we can adopt we should adopt the the spirit of it we can adopt mm. no okay. even though i want to adopt my <laughs> vasanas will never allow me to do it <laughs> oh that's the effort yes ah that is where this pargadatta's uh, uh, statement comes into picture you believe that you're already free and then you act upon it yes. take it till you make it no <laughs> uh, essentially i cannot imitate uh, uh, i don't have freedom or liberty to imitate uh, uh, swami ramakrishna paramahamsa or uh, shri prabhu ji why uh, because i myself am not at established yes yes <laughs> so, so still i am driven by my vasanas vasanas actually projects that uh, under discomfort so yeah yeah we have to do the balancing act yes <laughs> And uh, Prabhuji being an IITian and at a very senior position and everything, mm. he left everything and where he is today. Mm. And today, if I accumulate any education of, oh, I have to make use of this, I have to earn this thing, you know, that also comes. But no, no, he him. made enough use of it, Rajni. Huh. He made Tell enough it. use of it. Then he, he at the secular uh, uh, transaction level, he uh -huh. made enough use of it. And he had, he had, uh, that also gave him the Security. Uh, security to leave that. The, uh -huh, the worldly base. Ah, that, see, that is what that is what we have to learn from the Guru. Just don't drop anything and uh, go away to the forest. Be, make yourself <laughs> comfortable. Don't so that you don't go. That's that's a monk's lifestyle. Not to have anything, go and beg for food, <laughs> all that. We can't do that. So for but a he, after this. He can continue with his consultation or whatever it is. Okay, I can give some time to spirituality. But then after he had, okay, this is good for me. This is good enough for me. He never looked back. Ah, yeah. His calling was very clear for him. Yeah, that's true. That's... How do? Yeah. So in some talk I was uh, hearing, once you discover the freedom that this gives, you don't want anything else. Satyavati ji wants to say something. Yeah, Hari Om. Just wanted to remember something when Narsimurthy said, uh, I don't have a limitation to... I... Freedom, freedom. He doesn't have the freedom to dance on yeah, this. Sorry, I'm not using the exact words. Follow or do like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa or Prabhuji and Thilavaga, Vasana Santhila Pantalva. But uh, I remember Tattva Bodha in some talk when we were doing uh, in AVSC, uh, Kashmiri Jaini Samali women uh, Rishikas Bakke Ella Hela Vaga plus uh, Idella Yaake and Ella Hela Vaga. He was also like an ordinary ordinary man like me. Adu first to know the ga. Namun galle motivation no. Iva ga na gorna as Sadguru we are seeing. But I can also reach there and no motivation no only. Be. Very true. Correct. Ini kya wado wando talkal parate. Hagagi, that becomes very important. He, uh, they also explain about the four stages. Alva. First to Hege, or four stages. Alva. First to they just want to uh, improvise upon the outer world uh, uh, things. Amele, in a workshop smart tare, la, mele, inner journey tara barate. So that is how through stages of birthare. But ega as Sadguru Namgat Anusta Idru, he was an ordinary man like us unknown on the day Sakunamge. And uh, we always, all of us, including by me, Vasanas, Vasanathan Thelbadi. We actually don't know anything about our vasanas. We simply uh, equate to that, saying, oh, my vasanas are like that. That's why I am doing this. I am doing that. This is momentarily what we have done. We have to trust and trust and faith. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. Guruji tells us, no, you are liberated. Mm. What is preventing us? What for all this? Now we just go through all this. But trust and faith and Tumba strong at Bandre Yaudu Yenu Atamadala. Hmm. Bah. So bold. I remember so... our AVC for the Manana class. Mala, if he, she remembers Alva Mala. Courageous statements. Yeah. <laughs> so, limitation <laughs> Ide and Kola Devan condition on a Simurti. Matte Matte. Matte Matte condition Hakole Bardu. Gutile Bake Kadastakum and Mutivi. Belief system or conditioning go. 
సాక్షి భావ when when as, as long as i am in sakshi bhav i can actually see uh, vasanas are rising when the person next to me is talking and he is rising some irritating previously whatever used to irritate the words sentences and the face all uh, all, all those trigger points so uh, the moment i go into that it is not that uh, vasana is playing by the on its own it used to because i was merged with that vasana before now i am witnessing that vasana i can see it is rising and in some cases there there is a lap so vasana takes over given that circumstance and condition uh, witness is, uh, vasana is over powering in most of the cases no the moment you have witnessed it it's ah, very true narsimurthi neev helo tara ellaru heltivi not that navella asthe start putidivi itala but just i remember to say that kandita avudu but yen gotta illi ramana maharshigal helo tara i am able to see the vasanas coming out hold on to that one who is seeing it one who is witnessing it i am that asthe you are actually one step ahead because you are able to witness and watch all that yes. i am this ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಿಮಗ್ ವಾಸನೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಅದೇ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಇದೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಮುತ್ತಿಗಳ ಗುರುಗಳ ಹತ್ರ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಆಗ್ತಾನೆ ಇದೆ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ವಾಸನೆಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ವಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ನಂದೊಂದು ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾನು ಸತ್ಯ ಹತ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀನಿ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾಗ್ಲೂ ಸಹ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಕ್ ಶುರು ಆಗತ್ತಲ್ವ ಅವಾಗ ಒಂದ್ ಚೂರ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರನೇ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಹೌ ಇವ್ರಿಂದಾನೆ ಇದ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದ್ರ ಇವ್ರಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಕಾಣಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ನನ್ನ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಅಂತ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಕ್ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಅವಾಗ ಈ ಕುದುರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಬೀಳುತ್ತೆ ಸಣ್ಣ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಬಿದ್ದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಗಾಡಿ ನಿಲ್ಲಲ್ಲ ನಿಜ ಆದ್ರೆ ಈ ವಾಸನೆಗಳು ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಏರಿಳಿತ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅಲೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬೀಳೋದ್ ಬೀಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಅದನ್ನ ರಿಕವರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತೀವಿ ಹೌ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಫೈರ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದಾರಲ್ಲ ಹೌ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ನೀವ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ವಿಷಯ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಗುರು ಗುರುಗಳು ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗುರುಗಳು ನಡೆದ ಹಾಗೆ ನಡಿಯಕ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಅವ್ರ ನಡೆದ ದಾರಿ ನಡಿವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಸಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಫಲ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಇವನ ನಾನು ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮನು ತಂದ್ರು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಅಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಅಂತ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮನ್ ತರ ಇವ್ರ ತರ ಅವ್ರ ತರ ನಾವ್ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆನು ಖಂಡಿತ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಗುರುಗಳ ತರ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಹಂಸ್ ತರ ನಮಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಸ್ವರೂಪಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದೀವಿ ಹೊರತು ಆ ಸ್ವಭಾವಕ್ಕಾಗ್ಲಿ ಆ ವಾಸನೆಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜರ್ನಿ ಅವ್ರಿದು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಬೇರೆನೆ ತರ ಯೋಗ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅವರು ನಮ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಏನೋ ಬೇರೆನೆ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಬೈ ಓತ್ ಪುಣಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಲ ಎನಿವೆ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ಟುಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಸೆಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ if you are part of mm that bondage well of bondage well within the well of bondage it is not possible to see uh, uh, it is not possible to witness vasana only 
when you stay away, neti neti, what does neti, where does neti neti uh, take us? Neti neti actually takes us, I, which is part of the mind, to no mind. <laughs> it takes outside the well of bondage. Yeah. So, uh, where actually, when actually neti neti ends, neti neti ends, when I am established in that Iti. nirakara, Iti. nirguna, yeah. So, is nirakara and nirguna possible in my no? So, by this mere this doing this neti neti, I am already out of the bondage. I am outside the well of the bondage. Now it is possible to see what is happening inside the bondage well. I tapa heard You brought out that point. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, what else can we? Okay, here is a beautiful question. Okay, what else is there in the 78 talk? Ah, one simple question. What is Paramarthika Jiva? Even like you're in your transactional world, but always you remember who you are. Mm. So that is Paramarthika Jeevan. Who, who are you? Yeah, I am with consciousness. Satchit Ananda is my Sarupa. Mm. So if, if there is a situation which is very fretful or angry or whatever it is, I just play a part without mm. me getting angry. That's it. Mm. So the Vyavaharika I will keep on changing and taking roles and playing all the roles. Whereas the Paramartika is the I which is unchanging. That's all. Simple. No. Correct. There's nothing more to be said about that. Okay. Now in uh, talk 77 itself, hmm. uh, Prabhuji says that roles that I am playing hmm. So, attaching to that role itself mm -hmm. is a problem. Correct. So, why is that? Mm. Correct. Attaching to the role is a problem. That's what we have all been. Yes, been. yes. Uh, uh, 77 talks about that. Mm. Uh, roles are becoming myself. That is the problem. Why is that? Hmm. So, the Guruji always is fond of telling one story, no? A uh, person uh, play, playing the role of a Kali in some Yakshagana, he is identified so much with that role, he does a wonderful job as an actor, as Kali Mata. But even when the curtain call, when, when the curtain falls, he is unable to get out of the role. And so they, they hold him down. You know, he is still going on doing that Kali act. And they hold him down and they cut a kumbulkai, a big pumpkin. So that his this thing comes down. Uttar jayega sab. Something Anakaya like that. Pravesha. Ayyo, deva. So <laughs> all these things we do. We don't we we yeah, we don't come out of the role. That's the that's the that, that's the major problem, <clears throat> like uh, Guruji points out. To remember the that you are an actor while you are playing the role, that is the best thing. Wonderful. That will be the best uh, page. So the, the, the other thing is that it is impossible to control the manifested stuff. Once it is uh, uh, in the mind, uh, I am talking about the mind. If something is manifest, uh, manifested, we need to go to higher level and see that it is a manifested stuff which cannot be changed. So that, uh, so it is like this. Like in olden days, we used to have that projector mind. It's a film, movie. Uh, tents, talkies, all that, not this digital era. We used to have that project, uh, projector and then uh, a film reel which is running and then it is projected onto the screen. Correct. So our situation is like uh, uh, the thing which is projected on the screen. That cannot be, uh, any, can do any, nothing on that. Anything, everything that has to be done, has to be done at the projector light which is Eliminating it. Hmm. What you are saying is the sense, the inputs are there all the time. 
we have yes. all the inputs all the sense organs are uh, collecting whether they want or not all the inputs are there but yes. do not internalize and even if you internalize do not express now establishing in that uh, uh, the what is that i am true self hmm that alone uh, can take me out of this uh, manifested trouble, troublesome manifestations that happens in the mind. Okay. I'm telling how to behave in the manifested world. So, because... Now, the... uh, uh, now once you stand in this place, mm. once you are established in this place... Then, then you don't need any teaching. Yeah. No. Uh, teaching is, of course, required. Uh, the, uh, no, no, no. One, for one who is established, there is no teaching. He can teach. <laughs> no, he reached there because uh, the intellects uh, come to uh, play the role. Correct. Intellect, which is the bridge between this and uh, the variations that are happen happening inside the mind. Mm. That is why that we um, like... Yes, yes. Please carry on, Rajini. No, in it was. Yeah, Indra, yeah, one uh, question to Narsimuthi ji. Like, when we always tell we can't or uh, it is not possible to come out or those things, aren't we still uh, uh, limiting our uh, uh, thoughts? And uh, no, that is what we want to come out. But still, if you keep telling that it is impossible to come out, or it's, so it's still we are in the limitation part only, right? Mm. Correct. Yes, that is what we are trying to do when we are uh, when you are witnessing the vasanas and everything. Mm. That's it. No, that is the first uh, step for the path. Right, we are in the correct path. Many people don't even know what they are going through. Correct. That's what Satyavati also pointed out. Correct. Same thing. The moment oh, you uh, actually uh, what I said was misunderstood. Actually, uh, I did not say uh, 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 what is it about all uh, Vedantic. Uh, Sattvic teachings that I am, uh, I am not uh, say, uh, saying it is impossible. What I was saying was the imitating part, uh, as uh, Purnima Ma uh, rightly explained, Swabhava. Each one of us have a Swabhava, and that Swabhava, uh, uh, we, uh, it is impossible to overcome. Not from the uh, uh, Sattva part. Yes. Uh, uh, gunatrayas, not Correct. from the gunatrayas. Yes. See, Correct. beyond that, uh, uh, there is uh, some traits of myself. Mm. Th th those things, uh, oh, I think uh, I am uh, sorry. But, uh, 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 yeah, Ji, that is okay. Even if that traits, if you happen to compare one guru with the other or the next one, they will be all so very different. Yes. Yes, yes the living and everything is so different and that is yes. the beauty also. That is something to be enjoyed also. Mm. Ramakrishna Paramahansa was very different from... Very, uh, I was actually uh, trying to say person. that. I could not uh, articulate it. Properly. Yeah, see, this even in the I Gurus, there are four categories. Brahmavid, Brahmavara, Brahmavarenya, Brahmavarishta. They are all Jeevan Muktas. They are all liberated souls, but they have a different level of activity and engagement with the world. Yeah, a Brahmavid is like teaches the teaching is his loka kalyana is his mission a brahma brahma vid brahma vara is a little less active in the act in in the world like that brahma varishta is totally established in samadhi he doesn't care he could be sitting in a cave doing nothing so yes that is all about swabhava but they are all established in uh, in the truth they are all liberated correct so, uh, Narsimurti was saying, I cannot act physically, uh, my actions physically cannot be, uh, you know, compared to anyone else, which is just Vabhava. But the Tattva part, like Malaji said, yes, walk the path. Yes. Done. But why cannot we do it? Why cannot we feel the oneness with all beings? Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma, why, why cannot we have the Sarvatma Bhava? Is the next question that Prabhuji discusses. Why is it so hard? Because I am very much attached to my body, mind, index and the ego. <laughs> and this relates to the uh, long discussion before. Mm. We yeah. cannot imitate 
because still i have that bhava i am different and i am trying to imitate somebody else when that uh, collapses uh we are not imitating anymore we are yes. living like them authentic yes actually this prompted me one more thing yeah. imitation meaning playing from the mind which we are trying to avoid mental play is imitation mm. so if at all i want to imitate somebody i have to operate i have to uh, again abide or stick on to uh, the memory which uh, gives me the glimpse of to be impl- uh, imitated so that itself will become bandha mm-hmm. see i think so we are unique each one of us is unique yes, yes. of course purnima ji is unique from me and narsimha ji is very unique from me yes. but at the same time we are one yes. so the uniqueness is the prakriti and the beauty is itself so mm-hmm. that is what is the place going around so mm-hmm. we are unique and we are beautiful in our own ways but at yeah. this same time the self is the same that consciousness is the same mm-hmm. yes but uh, are uh, can if can one be established in that sarvatma bhava all the time if yes then nothing more to be said but why i, I know yeah i yeah. know i am brahman but i don't act like brahman that's mm. the reason that is the reason <laughs> mm. how does brahman act <laughs> nirakara nirguna niratita mm. seeing every, one is in everyone we don't act like that mm. that's why uh, and we look so different from each other our deha bhava also because of deha bhava we are not in jiva bhava any time very good mm? that's why because the reflection of brahman is what is the whole uh, jagat uh, maya is all about so that is we the world is about name and form what to do names and forms are different and various and different so to get underneath it and see the oneness requires i mean that is the, that is the whole sadhana <laughs> the limitation of bmi makes us makes it a bit difficult oneness of all being the other day prabhu ji was saying for me it was a matter of one minute wow i could feel the oneness of all i i could feel the oneness to explain that i have been talking 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 for 20 years he said Mm-hmm. get you people to get a glimpse of that i am talking for 20 years so this is we can talk all we want but the anubhava is what it is uh, what will give us the complete uh, yeah once you experiences you cannot get out the irreversible process that's the best part it's so nice irreversible actually prabhu ji in one of the shakti darshana uh, class he mentions about the origin of separation mm the origin of separation uh, that is when even left brain is not even formed and that separation registers momentarily uh, without even having the uh, left brain it registers into right brain ba 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 how can you fight this yaar i mean it's... yes <laughs> so this separation <laughs> my uh, was strong yes <laughs> they she want to say something in okay. in okay yeah that is why all these uh, punarapi jananam everything is happening but now we are on track we are good and prabhu ji also says one more thing hmm you are out you are disconnected from micro womb and got exposed to macro womb which is more safer and you have more comfort all that just because of the ignorance we are not seeing the beauty of the macro womb which it is providing us truly macro womb is the jagat no yes mm. correct very true very true so how can we take the stand of drug all the time this is the next question based on these talks how to be as a drug all the time take the stand of drug i am not the drushya i am the drug that is the whole idea or that is the whole sadhana so there are various 
um, uh, paths given by the scriptures and the Bhagavad Gita. So here only one is stressed, which is that there is there is a lot of sadhana that one can do. There is a lot of yoga. Yoga marga is there. Karma marga is there. Bhakti is there. Jnana is there. So to be a drak, one is very important. That's what Guruji says, which is that teachings and the removal of the ignorance. Ah, removal of the ignorance is the whole journey. Which marga is the best is what Guruji asks. Jnana, bhakti, Jnana marga. yoga. Jnana marga. Yes, Shaila? Karma marga. Karma dalluna. Karma marga. They are all, these are all margas only. Paths, karma, uh, raja yoga, bhakti, they are all, uh, uh, they all take you to jnana finally is what uh, here in this talk is uh, being uh, emphasized. Ya kendra? In karma, is there duality or no? I am doing something. Anta bharata ilva. Sadhana. Hey, swadharma. Abrabur swadharma vandundu. So dharma dal idde idde. So as long as you are taking the stand of BMI, all these sadhanas also will be, uh, hmm. will have a duality aspect of it. Only with jnana, you can do all this. We have to do all this. But with Jnana is what Guruji says here. With the Jnana that, uh, you know, I am not the BMI, I am the drug. You do either karma or you do yoga, so yoga sadhana or you do breathing practice or dhyana, whatever it is. Ultimately, with the Jnana. That is what emphasized uh, here. With Jnana only you do all this. Otherwise, again, you will get caught in this uh, ego. I am doing it. I am doing the practice. I am doing some karma yoga. I, 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 I will not go. The small I will not go. So you can take the stand of drik only with jnana bala, he says. Jnana balam vande bala. Brahma balam, mati balam. What is that statement by this one? Vishwamitra, right? Brahma balam, tejo balam. Once you are established in Brahma jnana, that's the best balam. All other balams are, you know, they, they are very fickle. They come and go. Brahma madam tejo balam. Yes. So only strength of uh, sadhaka is jnana. Hold on to that, others will come back. Uh, it will follow easily. Okay, I think and I don't know. Uh, uh, for the day-to-day -day life, uh, that day on our Rajaji session, uh, but with the mirror, uh, Vani ji told one uh, thing, no? That is a very apt thing. Hmm. What did she say? Uh, like uh, mirror, if the object is moved away from the ah, mirror. Very beautiful, correct. No, even when, uh, even day-to-day -day life, we can always remember that and we can be, uh, we can act as the drug only. Very nice. So I don't think uh, who was not there in the session. See, uh, uh, mirror was given, uh, we'll tell uh, Rajini and... Uh, hmm. Who, who was not there in the session? You have been given a mirror and you have to Vedantify it in two minutes. Two minute Vedanta it is called. What will you associate with a mirror? Image, reflection. Correct. How will you, you have to uh, relate it to Vedanta? Chita Bhasa. Hmm. I mean, two minutes you have to expand on it. It's a reflection, reflection of reflection, what? reflection of the consciousness, hmm. reflection of the conscience on the mind. Hmm. And then, okay, can you say expand on that, uh, Murtiji? Anything more you want to add? Uh, actually, uh, mind is an inner instrument which is capable of uh, uh, receiving that chaitanya. Hmm. And distributing that to the other connected organs. I think as we discussed in the Trishya Vivaka itself, uh, uh, from the mind, all other uh, grass level organs are energized uh, through the mind. First, it appears on the mind. 
and it em mind emits that sentiency to other organs and in this mind on receiving the source this maya uh, three shaktis of maya emerges jnana shakti that is knowing icha shakti willing willingness and prana shakti kriya shakti hmm uh, sorry kriya shakti hmm kriya shakti which uh, uh, which uh, allows makes us to uh, do things move our limbs all that and also the uh, internal non non involuntary mm -hmm. operations that are so the mirror gain relate martidira with the mirror mirror mind is the mirror mind is the mirror mm. which makes it possible to have sentience in the body so uh, uh, it is the, it is the bridge between uh, pure consciousness and this jada deha okay very nice this is okay okay nyar idru avattu yar irlilla jay shri was there satyavati ji was there shaila was you there that day mirror mirror henge idu relate martirappa vedanta ge Uh, it is a reflected consciousness mm. uh, okay it uh, like it reflects always the pure consciousness uh how what if the mirror is concave or complex will the image be the same no no it keep changing hmm so the mirror has to be clean pure clean. mind only can reflect pure consciousness correct correct yeah hmm the reflection is not me hmm the reflection hmm. is not real me ah so also this they have a they bmi is not real me correct the real me is brahman alone the real so, me not the reflection it is the one standing in front of the mirror mirror the yes the one standing in front of the mirror so i don't know if mala is able to answer is she free to answer or not so indra wanted to make a point you now you make that is a very beautiful point vani ji gave the see there are many things you can say about this and everything is valid vani ji made a very good point which vindra will share now indra are you there Yeah, yes, yes. Ah, that was a very beautiful point, Indra. This one made. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when an object is in front of the mirror, we can it gets reflected. Suppose nothing is there in front of the mirror, nothing is seen. Hmm. So if that uh, uh, object moves away from the mirror, there'll be nothing. So likewise, what has happened in the past, it has gone away from the mirror. So we we need not think about that. And the future, it, it's not there. It doesn't get reflected on the mirror. so we just leave alone the past and the future and what is there in front of you is the present moment just do what you have to do what is there in front of you just do that and live your life the mirror does not retain any impressions like why yeah. the memory not retain any impressions that will bother you just be in the present very nice very nice huh? such a beautiful point she made right yeah does not retain any impression yenadru bandya sumne reflect so our mind should be like a reflection that is why um, see our behavior is also actually influenced by the person in front of us no mm -hmm. the person in front of you is angry or sad those emotions will come in me also it's a reflection when this we, we 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 resonate with the image in front of us but the once it goes away don't retain it like the mirror again come back to your original position aste that's a very beautiful input yeah clean mirror clean reflecting surface all the time which represents a pure sattvic mind basically nice actually we discussed uh, while discussing this chidabasa i have one point at the point of ref reflection there is no distortion 
Mm. Post reflection, mm. when these uh, the contents of I uh, mean mind started the interpreting it, then mm. manomala uh, will start cropping up. Mm. So even though it is uh, a reflected light, it is equal to original light, provided uh, there is no added uh, things to it. Things to it. Uh, things to it. Just at the uh, at the point of reflection, it is as original as the original consciousness. That is what Vedanta tells us. I think. Mm. Okay. Nice. So that's about the mirror. Okay. Um, next, what I wanted to ask you. Ha, I have a very beautiful question here. Uh, I want you guys to listen to the question and give your inputs. Please uh, hear properly. Yeah, I'm going to play it. You please listen to the question. One part of the question is that to perform dharma according to the highest dharma order or right. Mm. On the other side, we know that the best way of life is sakshibhav, witness consciousness. The third dimension to the question is that life is being lived for us rather than by us. We are not, it is, it is all, the script is written. So now these three are at loggerheads with one another. Sakshi Bhav says that you are the witness conscious. So just watch and things are happening. The second aspect says that life is being lived for us. Script has been written. It is going to happen the way it will. The third aspect says that you as the doer have got to do a certain thing. Now, it's very difficult to understand. That is, that is my question. How are we going to balance all these three. If we are witness conscious, then the other things do not uh, come in the picture at all. And our basic purpose is to remain there all the time. Whether we are able to reach there or not, that is a separate ball game altogether. But eventually the basic purpose of life is to be there. So once we assume that we are there, then what? I hope I'm, I'm, I'm not very sure I've been able to make my question clear or not. Yeah, is the question clear? Three things he is quoting here. One teaching, all the teachings given by the Sadguru. One is do your dharma properly. You have to do this. What is dharma? What is adharma? You have to go on the path of dharma. That is one teaching. Second teaching is Everything is destined. Life is being lived for you. God is doing everything. So that is one teaching. Third one is you are Sakshi. You are the Druk. So once you have take the position of Druk, what is there to do or not do? That is the dilemma this person is facing. Now what is the answer? You all this is the whole thing in Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Ah, it's all Bhagavad Gita only. Correct. Mm. Arjuna's dilemma. Tell me one thing, Baba. You are giving me so many things. You tell me what to do, Anta. So how do you reconcile all these three teachings? Anybody has any input? Like, mm. Yeah, we live the life. And uh, um. It is a destiny, definitely for sure. But again, the destiny is made with your previous karma, karmic accounts, today what you live. Mm. So even if going with that uh, dogma, at least wherever you are today, you are on a spiritual path, fair enough. But are you going to reach this pressure? That is okay. That You just leave that aside. But you live the life. Uh, 
with the dharmic and uh, what is dharmic and what is a dharmic at least i have that uh, connotation mm -hmm. and even when they say ki you have a free will but the free will is like a rope tied to the neck of a cow so she can go she can go to some distance mm -hmm. and uh, probably not beyond that mm -hmm. so that uh, rope is given to you and what you do within that mm -hmm. is again within your reem and uh, nice it is it is you have to live whatever it is given but uh, again whatever comes your way then you you should have the wisdom to take the right decision mm -hmm. after having taken the right decisions the results may be with you or may not be with you mm -hmm. then you become a witness also but that doesn't mean that i stop doing a thing i will do and what are the results come that is that is okay that that acceptance has to be there with you nice answer rajini very nice anybody else wants to pitch in if life is being lived what am i doing what am i expected to do yes indra uh three things are true like it is destined we have to do things and with the sakshi bhava hmm all three are true all three are true but how we live is the thing that just hold on to the gnana given by the guru if you are lucky enough if you are destined to get the guru we'll get the guru and mm -hmm. with the gnana given by the guru just uh, do the things to the utmost of our ability with the sakshi bhava if you are able to do that then that's it very nice good good answer indra amale yes murti ji ma'am whether we know it not yeah please go ahead jay shri you finish then he will tell yeah, no. Uh, do the life according to your swadharma hmm. in the sakshi bhava and don't be attached to the results at any cost that itself will be in sakshi bhava do hmm. your duty do your duty free will or otherwise or destined do hmm. your duty and walk away from there hmm. so anto you have to do something whereas the other other teaching is life is being for you mark, mark the way. Huh? okay ಓಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ವೆದರ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ವೆದರ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ದ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭಾವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭಾವ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ತ we are not doing anything at all we have that bhava karta gnata bhokta gnata mm. that bhava is there so other than that bhava so it is like i am doing everything my breathing itself i am dependent on my hands mm. so in a way uh, the uh, when yeah i think uh, this dridrishya viveka shloka number 33 or 34 itself answers this question uh, like paramarthika jeeva ka uh, vyavaharika jeeva and pratibhasika jeeva very good mm. so establish in paramarthika jeeva and play the roles and duties responsibilities as per dharma dharma as, as per uh, the needs as per the uh, ashrama that you have chosen very good Mm. and uh, yeah. try to do your best and uh, with uh, with the mindset that it is ishwara arpita buddhi ishwara arpana buddhi mm. ishwara prasada buddhi ishwara arpita buddhi mm. then uh, there is no phala nirikshe mm. so the moment i am established in sakshi mm. who is there to ex uh, expect phala nirikshe correct so uh for whom i am doing the work i am doing it for myself i am mm. not doing it for and uh, how do you relate to pratibhasika the, the the roles that i am playing right uh, the vyavaharika is uh, at uh, universal level pratibhasika i am a husband for a for a particular person that lady alone is wife for uh, wife for me hmm for all other uh, people in the world that lady is a lady 
Benji. <laughs> and uh, uh, there is a girl who mm. is daughter to me and my wife. That is Prati Bahasita. Whereas for all the rest of the world, she is a girl. Oh, like that. Okay. I related these three. Very nice uh, perspective. But while you said these three, I got another uh, input, uh, another spin on it. Paramartika, of course, Sakshi Baba. Vyabaharika, the roles we play. The role we had, we had to play through dhar with the dharma, dharma, viveka only, we had to play. Prati Bhasika, that the third question he put is, life is being lived for you. Yes. In Prati Bhasika, that's what happens in my dreams. It, the dream just goes on without my free will. It's being, uh, you know, dreamt for me. That's also a good example. No, when you are established in Sakshi, Mm -hmm. You are not living the life. There is, uh, it's a mute spectator, right? Mute spectator. spectator. It, it, it is just happening. It's just happening. It, no, it is... for, for, a, for a one, for, for one who is in Vyavaharika, like yes. me, the dream is the Pratibhasa. Yes, yes. It is being lived for me. Yes. In my Vyavaharika, I have, I think I have some amount of free will. So I will do with the Dharma, Dharma. In the Pratibhasika level, that is also not there. Yes. Full free flow. <laughs> Very nice. I don't have a choice. Ah, no choice at all. The ego is not coming into the picture. Mm -hmm. Simply it goes randomly. One is dreaming. You cannot control a dream. It is being dreamt for me. That's a very good uh, analogy. Yeah. Purnimaji, there is one angle to it. Ah. What I do in during my Vaharika, it is my waking state. That also shows in my dream state. So if there is a change in my Vaharika, it will also sh reflect in my uh, dreaming. Okay. So uh, it, there is a little this thing, you know, that nightmare or anything which is a fear in your waking state, it might right. reflect in some kind of a scenario in your dream state. So that also kind of a, that is there. Fine. So it is played. Ah, it is played unconsciously. Yeah. Ah, you seem to be in control. If no, you but in the fire, you will call, uh, you know, the fire brigade. But in the dream, you feel you are. Uh, you don't even. You want to call, but you cannot call. Those kind of situations come in the dream, you know. You are not in control. That's what I'm saying. The contents might be a reflection of Vyavaharika, but in the dream, you're totally not in control. You cannot control or you cannot direct your dream. It is being lived for you. Is what the question, I'm relating it to the three states the questioner asked. Nice. I, I think uh, Purnima ma'am was trying to say uh, that in the dream, you don't have... Uh, uh, in waking state, you have a notion that you have a free, you have freedom to do something. Okay. In dream, you don't even have that freedom to dream what you want to dream. Yeah. You can either perish in the fire or you will get out <laughs> miraculously, you will fly and go away. You know, <laughs> which you cannot do in Vyavaharika, we, things we do in the dream. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like that answer. I just want to uh, give one analogy. Hmm. I am. I have given a role of Rama and Ravana, hmm. which has to be uh, done uh, in mono acting. So first of all, Narsimha Murthy must be existing. If at all Narsimha Murthy is there, only then Rama's role and Ravana's role can be played. So in this case, while playing Ravana. Uh, Ravana's role, I have to be, uh, I have to play. The moment I come out of that, I should remain as Narsimha Murthy. So, uh, Narsimha Murthy is the substratum or uh, this turn of or these two roles. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Nice. And another way I related to this particular. Mm -hmm. well, another, another way I related to this is to Jnana, Bhakti and uh, Karma. How do this, do that with dharma, dharma, that is karma marga. And uh, life is being lived for me. Everything is, God is doing everything, that is bhakti. I am the sakshi, that is a jnana. So that way I thought it can also be related to. So you cannot cut off one from the other. Simultaneously everything is happening. Correct. So all of us, I think, have got a good grip on the whole subject. Nice. <laughs> okay. One more, two more questions related to these talks and we can wind up. 
what kind of light is the light of atma jyoti yeah please answer anyone what is the this it's, kind of light light of awareness it's not a real light it is just it's a reflection of the original on our mind and we act according to it it's a reflection it's, it's not a Universe. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, okay. Hello, can you hear me? Oh. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yes, we can hear you. So yeah, it's a it's not a light, but it is what? Light of it is awareness. Uh, it is just experienced, it is not seen physically. Correct. It cannot be a it is not a physical light that can be seen. Correct. It's the light of awareness. It's a sukshma tita. Sukshma tita. It's not stula. Ah. So it is a light of awareness. Awareness of what? Of consciousness being reflected in our mind. Consciousness of yeah. light of an object reflected in our mind. Okay. What else? Narsimurti, you have any other? Indra, Anupama, Helipa? It is like uh, Atma Jyoti is the light like the uh, bright sun. It mm. is always there uh, mm. which makes every jiva uh, live this uh, jivitam. Mm. Any, any, any beings. Mm. But uh, as the jiva sees uh, day and, and night the yeah. sun is always there but the jiva is seeing day and night. Mm. Sun is always there, but the jiva can see only uh, can see day and night. Okay, all right. But uh, this Atma Jyoti can see both the presence of light and absence of light, right? The absence of uh, night and absence of day, both is seen by the Atma Jyoti, right? Yes. Hmm. What else you want to say? Anything? Anybody? Indra. Narsimurti. No, Purimaji. There is no, some noise here, ma'am. Okay, fine. So, what is the shloka from the Gita? Na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tara. This light cannot be illuminated by any other light. It's not like the starlight. It's not like the moonlight. It's not like the sunlight. On the contrary, the sun, moon and stars, everybody get their light from Atma Jyoti. That's the beautiful sloka in the Gita. Mm. Okay. Tattva Masi and other teaching. To whom is the teaching of Tattva Masi? Jyoti. Huh? To whom is the teaching of uh, Tattva Masi? Paramartika Jiva or uh, Vyavaharika Jiva or Pratibhasika Jiva? That's another question. Vyavaharika Jiva. Okay. Okay. Anupama, what do you say? Vyavaharika. Okay. Rajini, what do you say? Vyavaharika. Jayashree? Of course, Vyavaharika Jiva. It is the one which is in ignorance. It has to learn. It is uh, uh, its, its real nature. So the teaching is, of course, to the Vyavaharika Jiva. Murtiji? Yes, it is the Vivarika Jiva, which is sandwiched between uh, uh, Pratipasika Jiva and uh, uh, what is the other one? Paramartika. Uh, Paramartika. So, uh, Pratipasika has dependency on uh, Vivarika Jiva. 
So, Vyavarika Jeva is the one uh, which can listen to Guru, which can listen to Vedanta. Mm. Uh, certain level of uh, freedom which is there. I mean, uh, uh, will uh, is provided uh, through which uh, Pratibhas, sorry, uh, mm. uh, truth can be established in the truth. All of us are wrong because in the in the talk, Prabhuji says the Tatvamasi is for Paramartika only because the Vyavaharika and the Pratibhasika they come and go and uh, they are they are mere appearances. So that is how the explanation he has given. I, shall I play that and see how it uh, you know how it sounds? Nobody has listened to it properly. It's Parmartika itself. So what the, how does it need to realize that? What uh, what did you say, Murtiji? Uh, I also listened. I don't remember. Uh, uh, even when he was saying also, I was wondering. But he says, uh, even for me also instinctively, I say, I uh, everyone feel that uh, the teaching is for the Vyavaharika. But he says, the Vyavaharika and the Pratibhasika come and go. They don't have any astitva. Mm -hmm. So the teaching is for the Paramartika only, he says. I think we should... No, uh, if it is that way, Prabhuji uh, says that Jnana happens in Buddhi. Hmm? Intellect. Jnana is for intellect. For the intellect. Yeah. If it is intellect, hmm. uh, which is an inner instrument, which is part of Pratibhasika. Hmm. Actually, I am not very clear about the explanation. Satyavati, do you remember anything about it? Uh, have you discussed? Have you in your class? For whom is the teaching of Tattvamasi? Ah, actually, uh, ma'am, mm. this ayam, uh, uh, now I got uh, from where uh, that you are uh, trying to say this. Hmm. Prabhuji says this ayam, hmm. ayam, which is aparoksha anubhuti that happens within me, which I uh, actually experience that uh, uh, aparoksha in aparoksha, he is not the original consciousness. It is still a reflection. Hmm. It is a reflection. Hmm. So from that perspective, if that original consciousness is omnipresent, which is not just limited to your body, your mind. What we have in mind, what we have that aparoksha ayam, ayamness in uh, pure ayam, am. is also a chidabhasa, I mean reflected consciousness. Mm. The original, original consciousness mm. is this in that uh, what is that? Self enclosed uh, like Brahmanda, right? So it is uh, it is uh, all pervasive there. It is not in your mind or my mind uh, like that. Okay. What we what we uh, feel upper, in Aparoksha Anubhuti is just I am. That doesn't mean that that I am is sitting inside our body. Okay. That ayamness is coming from original consciousness, which is all perverse. So the teaching is for that I am, is it? That, that, that pointing. Uh, otherwise, it is a uh, isolated I am, right? No, the I am cannot be isolated. It is no, no, no. Hmm. Without that jnana, tattvam, asi, ah. that I am, uh, how do you connect? For example, assume Prabhuji is not there, there is nobody else, and you uh, you hit that aparoksha anabhuti. Just ayam is there. How will you know this is related to Brahman? Tat, hmm. Tvam, Asi. Yeah, this is, I think, this is what Prabhuji was trying to say. Uh, I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> Purnima, ah, yeah, I, didn't, I haven't. Huh? I yeah, go ahead, Rajni. Okay. Satyavati, I'm going to go. Rajni ji is saying something. Hey, Lappa. Hey, Rajni. Say. Tell, tell, tell. No, I didn't understand. That's what uh, I'm saying. Ah, uh, what Narasimhuti said uh, is not clear, no, for you or uh, for me. Uh, I don't know. Is okay, it clear what he said? 
people no what i was trying to say andre we ondu i haven't listened to these talks recently hmm. uh, and uh, we haven't come to that idu but uh, hmm. it comes to that same thing like who is the knower pramata anta baruttalva uh, same thing agutte ondu innond en andre see when he tells Uh, the three types anta jeeva ge mele vyavaharika pratibhasika and paramartika it comes down to jeeva or jeevatma only so to whom anta kelavaga jeevatma anta heldaga there are three categories made aste illi but right. that paramartika right. cannot be taken as the absolute right. in that sense maybe guruji is trying to explain yes. I, I, anta ankota idini i have it is a particular talk uh, what it is jeevatma only very yes. it is it is already forgotten its real idu once it is reflected it is completely forgotten its real idu alva in that sense prabhu ji is explaining ante nanu i haven't listened to this adhe anko bek navu but at first namage ange ansodu vyavaharika anta because it is the waking anta all teaching is for jeevatma who is an agnana is the instinct comes to that confusion is he says all the jeevas are par- paramartika jeevas alone none mm. else but paramartika jeeva so the teaching is for paramartika jeeva ah. even vyavaharika jeeva is paramartika pratibhasika yeah, nothing else paramartika. everything is paramartika only in that ah, the, 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 the categorization is for uh, easier explanation aste but it is a jeevatma only once it has taken uh, the that uh, identity adakke teaching antane aste yes category ma'am category namage confusion idu <laughs> Yes, Satyavati, Satyavati ma'am. That's correct, I think. Mm. Uh, because Paramarthika Jeeva, that suffix Jeeva is... Ah. So, Jeeva meaning, like, uh, if a person is a Paramarthika Jeeva, established in Paramarthika Jeeva, he is a realized person. So? So, he is a realized person. It is for the pra- Paramarthika... Uh, so, uh, where is this establishment happens in that paramarthika jeeva only right mm. a person which is completely uh, living a life completely worldly outwardly he mm. is uh, pratibhasika jeeva right vyavaharika sorry vyavaharika jeeva right mm. correct so into this vyavaharika jeeva if knowledge is poured in <laughs> when knowledge is poured in this mm. vyavaharika jeeva transforms into uh, uh, paramarthika jeeva right still it is a jeeva which has that uh, understanding of paramartha mm. no yaar i think we are going no, around but ounima but guru ji has given n number of talks on this yeah and there were there used to be so many questions like pratyagatma pramata rubage more we listen confusion e anusutte but yen andre ade we we need to again listen to those talks anta anusutte but illi iga clear aga namage gotaagtirod ishte jeeva andre jeevatma categorization is for a better understanding hmm but still because we are considering the three states hmm aa taradalli explanation ge for understanding purpose ashte idu tattva masi he has given a lot of uh, qa sessions on this Prabhuji, in this talk, Prabhuji brings in Tattvamasi. Uh, He's asking to whom is that Tattvamasi teaching is for whom and that's the question is there. That is Pratipra... Pra, 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 Paramartika, he said. Paramartika Jeeva, right? Pra, Paramartika Jeeva, like this is how I understand. I listened to that talk. This mm. is how I understood. Uh, this, he is already established as a Sakshi. Okay. Once he is established uh, in the Sakshi, that this macro level identity otherwise it's a micro identity atma bhava to uh, surpass this and establish in sarvatma bhava uh, tattva masi uh, teaching is required that for is for whom for whom that's the yeah, this jeeva only but i mean uh, he is already in uh, I, uh, he is already he or she is already in atma bhava mm. now sarvatma bhava that is where uh, prabhu ji will uh, bring in i think talk i forgot uh, uh, in that talk uh, sarvatma bhava talk uh, he brings in the uh, tattvam asi uh, meaning mm. this i am is also uh, reflected consciousness uh, mm. tattvam asi points to original consciousness 
<laughs> okay. Uh, maybe uh, I think this is what I understood from. That. Indra wants to say something fast. Indra, what do you want to say? I listened to the video, Punivaji, but I didn't understand it in this aspect. Maybe I listened to it again and uh, mm. I didn't get it in this. Uh, yeah. Maybe I will also listen, listen to it. Again. We'll all listen again. We'll listen to it again and we'll see. Yes. yes. Okay. And I will, I will ask this question also to some people. Let us see what they say. <laughs> okay, Rajini? Yeah, sure. All right. So can we close or you want to discuss something more because I have to leave. We are, done. we are okay, no? Almost. Yeah, we can close, yeah. Okay. So, closing prayer. Anyway, I'll only say. Om. Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mamrutangamaya Om Shanti Shanti Tishantihi Nanu Nanimbudu Nanala Ideha Manabudhi Nanala Satidanandatma Shivananu Nane Shivoham 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 Lokaha Samastaha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka ha samasta ha sukhino bhavantu. Loka ha samasta ha sukhino bhavantu. Hari hi om shri guru bhyon namaha. Hari hi om. No, you have made me host Purnima. You are